Hi, I'm Safra Barker and this is Virtually Everything for Comic Relief. Saffron as a child was somebody full of energy, fun, extremely loud. Um, when I was growing up, I always wanted to be a singer. But, but I, I didn't actually sound like anything else. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty great for my parents because I had loads of problems with my ears, so I couldn't actually hear myself. Um, then when my ears actually got better, I actually sounded half decent. Um, but for most of my life, I was just, I'm still loud, but yeah, very, very loud child. My very first vlog I filmed on my phone and I did it actually on a school holiday because I'm so scared of what everyone would say to me during school when I started and it was so rehearsed and so forced. Like I remember I must have said hello or oh, good morning to my uh, camera at least a hundred times before I thought it was the definition of perfect. Um, so it was a little bit awkward. I absolutely hate watching it back. Uh, it was slightly uncomfortable and I honestly can't believe that I'm still doing it a few years down the line. Strictly was the most surreal thing I've ever done. I think the most pinch me moment was actually when I either danced for my grandparents because I never really thought I would see the day where they would be able to not only come down in the audience and watch their favorite TV show live, but also get to see me perform and I also got to do my Nan's favorite song. So that dance was dedicated to her. Otherwise, I think another pinch me moment on the show would definitely have been my waltz because it was my highest scoring dance and it was the first time I actually felt at ease doing a dance it was you know I wish I could do it a thousand times over I think for me my proudest achievement would be when I ran at the London Marathon um, because I ran for a charity that's really close to my family and it was also something nobody thought I could ever do like my family has always believed in me and anything I said I'd do aside from running because I am absolutely terrible at it. I could never run and I had to push myself more than anything. It was my biggest struggle, um, but also the best thing I've ever done. And still to this day, I'm extremely proud of myself for doing it. I think for me, it might be quite cliche, but I think my happy place is just being at home with my family. Like I well, actually also, jetting up on a plane somewhere is quite nice too but eventually I always want to be back home I, I love having a structured routine with my family I have a big family my brothers my niece my nephew so yeah I think just being at home with them chilled is my happy place my dream dinner party do you know what would actually be if I could have any meal it would be my dad's roast like nobody cooks a roast like my dad insane I think I would have very random people actually Princess Diana because you know I just love to like I don't know know how she experienced her royal family and stuff I love the royal family so that'd be pretty cool um like really random Bob Marley absolutely love him obviously I, I was never been here since he'd been alive, um, so that'd be pretty cool. And who else would I like to see? I mean, Billie Eilish, love her. This is the most random, they do not go together at all. I can't even think of who else I actually love. Someone like Beyonce, like Queen Bee. And finally, oh my God, I just don't even know. Well, there'd be my fault. Do I have to say a bit? I can't think of a bit. That is the most random. <laughs> It's hard for me to say what I'd be doing in 20 years time because that's my entire life so far. Um, so I feel like a lot can change in 20 years time. Um, so really I have no idea. To be honest, I feel like I actually live each year just kind of in the moment. I don't really set too black. I set goals, but kind of more for the year. So I think for me, I would like to be settled down with a family, having my own house, probably kids, which is so weird to say at this point. Um, I'd like to be doing something on TV as well, that'd be pretty cool. Maybe like presenting or a radio presenter, that'd be like, you know, the goal. I think I would do pretty much anything for comic relief. Well, I would. So, I mean, I would jump out of a plane, I would cover myself in chocolate and feathers and basically whatever someone threw at me, if it was for comic relief, I would go ahead and do it, so. 
I think when it comes to changes that I'd like to see in the world, the list could really go on. I think, you know, I'd love to see the end of poverty, um, cure for cancer, just for everyone to have equal rights. I feel like the list could go on forever and ever. Um, but just also for people just to be kinder um, and, you know, consider other people's feelings. Um, and also not have, because, you know, my job's online, it's social media. So I think a huge thing that I'd love to change is probably things like keyboard warriors. Um, and you know, people to respect other people's opinions.